Hey everybody, it's Pastor Jim. And Pastor Greer. And we're your pastors here at Zion in Ann Arbor. And uh, hey, it is beautiful outside we today. We outside because it is fall and <laughs> breezy wow. and warm. One of the last few days of uh, 70 plus, so we're going to take advantage of it. But, oh yeah. Uh, Hey, there's uh, uh, good stuff happening this week of, of Halloween, All Hallows' Eve. Yes. Uh, and so we hope everybody's safe for all that trick-or-treating and all that interesting stuff going on. But this coming Sunday, we're back to our normal schedule. Yep, so we have our two worship service, 9 a.m. traditional, 11, 11 modern, with our faith formation in between during that time for all ages. Yes, indeed. And actually, what's the lovely thing this weekend? We get to fall back. Yes, we do. We get an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> hey. It is daylight savings time, so please check your calendars. Your clock should automatically do it, I think. Yeah, everybody's phone will just do it. But, but just FYI, so don't come too early because we'll still all be sleeping. In. That's right. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here early, but we'll don't worry. Here, but we'll, we'll just have the donuts here. You can have a donut and coffee. It'll <laughs> exactly. be great. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So make sure and mark that and then come for worship. And then we have a guest, special guest speaker. Yeah, speak. Ron Delph, uh, one of our own members here. And he's uh, been helping with our faith in, faith in food garden. And he's going to be here to talk about Project Grow and how that uh, connects with uh, our strategic plan and our also our, our financial intentional giving piece that we're talking about now in how do we help uh, to restore creation. And so uh, it is a time in which we are asking everyone to consider their financial giving and uh, how we can contribute in not just money-wise, but our time. Uh, one of the things we're going to be asking everybody to do is, is not only to give uh, intentionally, but give intentionally of our time. For next year's 150th, we're asking every family to think about giving 150 hours throughout the year of service to one of our ministry partners or to a ministry that you love and support uh, that we may not be doing so at this time. So that's a challenge that is out there, uh, but we're supposed to be thinking about that right now of how we can be more intentional in our giving in many ways. Yeah, so it's a great way to kind of be mindful of how you contribute to this community of faith and why that matters to you and why you're here and how we further God's kingdom together and how we boldly practice the way of Jesus. Yeah. So that's, it, that's why we're having guest speakers and kind of right. how we do this together. And you should have gotten a letter. Uh, if you have given this past year, you should have gotten a letter that was mailed from uh, our financial stewardship team and uh, that they uh, are asking you to consider that, pray about that, think about that. There should have been a card included that we hope to return, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, uh, the following Sunday, uh, which will be our intentional giving Sunday. Yeah, and what we want you to know is that every gift matters. If every. it's $5, if it's $5 million, it yep. matters because yep. you matter to God's kingdom and our community of faith. So keep that in mind as you consider prayerfully how you can engage and give intentionally to this community of faith. And if you have any questions or curiosities, you can talk with either one of us. We'd be happy to to talk about that with you. And we want to say thank you for yep. being part Amen. of our community of faith and for giving of your time and your talents and uh, your treasures as yes. we come together and boldly practice the way of Jesus. We only do it boldly because we do it together. That's right. Have a great week and we'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye.